some shocking information has landed on the table and i should say it's very worrying right now as we speak there is an information as of why the bullet actually took away sensor's life do you know what was responsible or should i say indirectly responsible for it yes you had the correct answer kelly kumalo now Something has been brought up, and of course, a twist in the whole story. Because Mandis has sent hitmen, but Senzo really took the bullet for Kelly Kumalo. Now, in this video will be explaining everything that happened, so stay tuned and watch until the very last end. Now, if you're new to this channel, but you're passing by for the first time here, you're most definitely welcome to Afro Black Gossip. In this channel, we talk about leaders and trending stories. Please do all to subscribe to this YouTube channel, give this video a like, leave a comment on the comment section. Thank you for your love and support. So, Zandile Kumalo has dropped a bombshell revelation concerning the former footballer Senzu Meiwa in a stunning twist Sanzilla claims that a fatal bullet was actually intended for Kelly not Senzo according to Zandile Senzo's widow sent the hitman to end Kelly because of her affair with the footballer but Senzo Meiwa ended up taking the bullet for her interesting right expressing a doubt about the case Zandele questioned why the focus has solely been on Kelly, why Senzo's wife Mandisa had undergone a thorough investigation. She understands why. She wonders why the authorities did not actually seize Mandisa's phone or consider her as a suspect. Zandele's testimony has brought a brand new twist to this case, but South Africans on social media think this is just another means to ruin the investigation. Because why would they actually keep quiet for this long? In addition to accusations, Zandile Kumal offers that after learning of Senzu's passing, Mandisa along with her friends confronted Kelly and physically assaulted her as well. Mandisa even pointed out Kelly's screaming accusations that she was responsible for Senzu's passing. Additionally, Santilla revealed that she sought help from a family friend, Mafari, and informing her about the intruders who had entered the house and took, taken away Senzo's life of call the police. This statement caused a stare on social media. Check out some of the comments because it's actually worrying. Now, please do well to leave your comments in the comment section on this one. Zantilla's testimony offers a gripping and controversial narrative surrounding Sezo Meiwa's trial. While her claims remain speculative, the highlights the need for is a thorough examination of all involved parties to uncover the truth about this tragic event. Zanzi, what are your thoughts on this? Because as of now, it's taking a different turn. And just to add something to this, this testimony actually makes a lot of sense. Although we have been very much focused on Kelly Kumalo, the Kumalo's family, but what about the wife of Senzo Meiwa? What about her? She's been just out of the light. No one talks about her. And somehow, some way, I'm starting to believe that there is a lot that had happened, right? And she has something to say as well. Now, when it comes to Kelly Kumalo, when it comes to Longue Twala and Sandile Kumalo, one thing I can tell you for sure is that there is something actually wrong because they took this long to actually bring out this testimony. But why? Why would they actually take this long to bring out that testimony? Does it sound right? Is it very normal to you? But for sure, we are waiting for the final conclusion as more testimonies are uncovered. Feel free to leave your comments in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying by. Until then, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.